feeling good, feeling great. Cause I got a big old smile upon my face. And you can't take that away. Mm. Feeling good, feeling great. And I know today is going to be my day. And you can't take that away. You can't take that away, away. So I'm also creating like a little shorts for this, so I will make sure to link it for you guys. I've gone to Walmart. I was very disappointed in their selection. They didn't have many postpartum like natural, holistic, and non-toxic items I have personally been looking for. Um, obviously, they have like normal postpartum stuff. So now we are at Super Target um, to see if they have a few of the items that I need. Other than that, I'll be placing a Amazon order for the stuff that you can't find at store. But make sure you follow along in my shorts because it's much more quick, fast, and um, informative probably than this vlog is gonna be so let's head inside I'm also gonna look for a couple other things um, unrelated to postpartum but figure I would take you guys along with me in store so you guys can like get excited if you're also on this journey and just kind of get some ideas another thing you can do of course is look online um, at the stores in your area to see if they have stuff available however I did that with Walmart and then they ended up not having some items so anywho let's go in and let's go see if we can find the last final things for my postpartum bag or my hospital bag. I keep saying postpartum hospital, it doesn't matter, it's all the same. <laughs> Welcome to another mini vlog. So today is actually my husband's birthday. So we already have his main gifts, but there was a few things that I could not find. So we're running to the store right now. He's at work. Um, I want to get him some Krispy Kreme donuts because it's kind of like our family tradition. When anyone has a birthday, we get them like a little cake, dessert, and we sing happy birthday. And we've done this forever. So I want to get Krispy Kreme for him and like get some different chocolate donuts because that's what he loves. And then I need to find a jewelry box. I bought us custom jewelry and you guys, it took like three three months three months to come in something like that um I'll tell you a little bit more about it later but I'm wearing mine and his is at home but I want to put it in a jewelry box and I'm trying to find like a black manly like smaller jewelry box because he also is has his I'm wedding ring get, uh, earring today? not today when you get your ears pierced, <laughs> silly okay, yeah I think it's a good idea. I've been trying to look for like a manly like, you know, jewelry box, something that's kind of like travel as well, but I haven't been able to find one. So I'm at TJ Maxx hoping I can find something here. And then he'll be at work in two hours. And our big event for tonight is we're going out to watch Inside Out 2. Yeah. We are so excited. Because I'm excited. Yes. So it's actually so cool because last year on his birthday, one of the gifts I got him, this actually was for Father's Day, was custom shirts from Etsy for him and Novella because we love Inside Out. And I got a shirt with her name on it and then one that said dad and it had all the inside out characters so it's cool because a year later the second one came out which we didn't know so anywho let's go inside see if we can find these last minute things and then oh the big gift i got him was a nintendo switch he's been wanting it and obviously it's like a bigger purchase so we've been kind of debating because we have a lot of game systems and i'm like you yeah, know what we're just gonna do it so the actual oled switch isn't coming in for a few days it might come in on father's day on sunday because i had to order it online but to let him know that was his other gift I got him like accessories for it so we'll show you guys like us packing and hanging out okay I'm waiting for a gas pump so um, it's so funny this guy has one in front of him but I cannot whip this car like that so anyways <laughs> quick haul no we got marshmallows I'll show you guys in depth I got a very cute bodysuit and a dress I got chance some storage because I know his grandma got him some shoes and they're super super nice she low-key outdid me with presents so I'm like why grams so I got him another one of his shoe organizers got Novia's stool and then I did find a jewelry box once I unbox it I'll show you guys everything but success at Ross so I already packed some of his stuff, but I have to repackage it. I really wanted to go inside to Krispy Kreme and get like a customized uh, dozen, but I didn't have time because he's about to be home in like 30 minutes, y'all. So I had to hurry up and come home. I ran into a friend at Ross and we sat there and talked for like 30 minutes. So I got him these little ones just from the grocery store because like I said, I had to get gas. You guys saw. 
I'm like, wait, I shouldn't show his age, actually. But I got him his candles. Um, fun fact, I still have his candles from all of his other birthdays, you guys. Like, I literally have as far back as 18. I also got him this. This is so random. Like, this is not even, this is just a random part I wanted to throw in because I know he needed new lotion. And I'm trying to teach my baby how to be using more natural good products because he be using, like, Lubriderm. Is that what it's called? And that's actually not good for you. So, anyways, found this from Ross. This is the most manly, cool-looking jewelry box thing I could find. He might hate it, and that's okay. I really should have ordered one on Amazon, but I thought for sure I could find one in stores, and that just didn't happen. So, I'm going to stage his necklace in this. I got this for our daughter for when she brushes her teeth because she's been using like the squatty potty that we have and it's just a little bit dangerous. So this one's cute. It's glittery. They had white as well with pink dots and then they had a pink stool with little white dots. Um, you guys saw I got this organizer for all of his nice shoes. Like he puts his collector kind of like Nikes and stuff. I don't like those clear bins and you have to get so many. So he just puts one of each of his shoe in here, if that makes sense. Um, and then I found this as we were checking out. I actually got totally different things. I got like biker shorts and shirts, but then I've really been loving these sets. And I love this like, I don't know, terracotta color. I don't know if this is gonna fit me though because this is a large, but I figured with my bump, I just loved this and it was only $8.99. And then I found this beautiful dress because dresses are just easy to get into. Love the sage. You guys know I say it all the time. It was one of our wedding colors, so it's now one of my favorite colors. Only $7.99. This one is in a medium. So I do have to try these on and I'll show you guys what they look like. But let's package his gifts up. So here's one of the dresses that I got. This is a normal dress. It's not maternity or anything. I got it in a size medium just to accommodate the bump. I love it. It is so soft. Love the colors, so definitely gonna keep. And it's cool because at the bottom, one side is like longer and it's like angled. It's super pretty. I feel like this is like I'm a guest at the wedding. This is also not maternity. It's just a normal jumper, I guess, in a size large though. But I'll show you guys if it's my bump, very cute. And then I think it's cool because you know, I'll still have a little bit of a pouch when the baby is born, so I can just wear this with like a graphic tee. And then once I get back down to my normal weight, I may or may not be able to fit in this. Okay, here's the bodysuit. Love the color, love the length, and the material is very comfortable for my body. Nice and stretchy, so cute. My camera battery is about to die, but we are on our way. So excited. I want to show you guys. Novi has her bing bong. She has her popcorn bucket and she has her core memory bow. And her and daddy are wearing their matching inside out outfits. Well, their inside out shirts. I don't have one because it was a gift from last year, like I told you guys. But yay, we're so excited. Me and baby girl are just cozied up, okay, y'all? <laughs> date night get ready because chance and i are actually going to go out on a date just me and him like am i in the twilight zone like you guys this doesn't happen i just rubbed my eyes so bad so they're so red i'm about to do makeup um my allergies but anyways little no shade no tea but i'm just gonna be super real with you guys for some people, the biggest lie of motherhood is the village concept. But Novella is our baby rider. Like, literally, you guys, it's me, Chance, Squad, and that's our village, okay? Like, also being a stay-at-home mom, too, it's just us. And we do not have that babysitter support, so it's been months. I actually can't even think of the last time that we went out on a date, Chance and I, just me and him. We go out and we go on dates, but it's like a family date because our child. So nonetheless, I'm really excited. We literally just went to the movies, vlogging on my phone because my camera's out in the car and I'm not gonna get it because I kinda have to hurry. Um, but today, me and Novi just ran errands all day together. I'm really tired. My legs and my feet hurt. They're actually swollen. Um, Chance had to go to his friend's celebration of life today. 
So it was just me and Novi. We did a ton of grocery orders. Um, we went to Dutch Bros. I did like a full self-care shower day. What else did we do? Yeah, we just, we, we did a lot, okay? We're going on date night. I'm excited. My outfit's so cute. I'm rocking the jumper that I showed you guys yesterday. So I'm going to do my makeup. I also went and got a new foundation because my Dior one ran out. You guys know I was like being bougie on that for a while because that was my foundation for the wedding and I loved it so much. But it was literally like more than $50 and that is so not me. I'm a drugstore girly. It's out so I'm like, okay, I need to go back to drugstore. I wanted to do the e.l.f. halo glow or whatever. But they were sold out of my shade and I was not trying to guess. It did not look safe, girl. I was like, no. So then... I looked at um, the L'Oreal Infallible, but they had so many shades I couldn't decide which one. So I just ended up going with the CoverGirl True Blend because this one says hydrating and I need a hydrating foundation. I got Warm Beige. Have no idea about this product, but this is what I got. So hopefully it works because I'm about to go on a date, <laughs> okay? Okay, so far I love how it feels. I'm not sure about the shade, but I do have a really light concealer in case I need to fix it. But I want to talk to you guys about our necklaces. So Chance loved his gifts, which I was super excited about. He was kind of sad that his switch isn't in yet, reasonably so. Um, but it says Lifetime because Lifetime by Justin Bieber was actually our first dance song. And it's so cute and precious. And I wanted to get us some sort of matching piece, but I didn't want it to have our names on it. And then I was like, Lifetime would be so perfect because it can just like honor also the wedding season, which was so beautiful. So yeah, mine is the feminine chain and then it's old English and I love old English writing. And then chances is the like men's chain and they did not have the option for just like an old English nameplate like this for some reason for men. Um, and this is just too skinny for him because he already wears gold chains and they're chunkier. So I am disappointed though because I would have loved him to have this same writing as me and he prefers it. So we're going to maybe order him a different piece also so we can kind of switch them out. But anyways, that's the reason behind that. So I am obsessed with that. I love it. The first nameplate necklace I ever got was a silver one and it was actually from Chance. And when it broke, I never got a different brand. Um, and so this is the first time I'm getting a new one. So it's actually super sweet and I love it. I'm a gold girly, rose gold, gold, whatever. It's my thing. So we're matching and I love them. I'm all ready. I feel so good. I haven't worn makeup in honestly probably a month because once I ran out of my foundation, then I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna let my skin breathe. And also, you know, just being pregnant in this farm, just like whatever girl. But I'm glad I got this foundation. I'm going to keep it. I think it's fine. It feels great. I want to share with you guys my fragrance of the day. So this is Fresh Coconut and Cotton. This was a scent that I think came out last summer. But I love it because it's super light and refreshing. And it just reminds me of some of the smell. Um, and then I also did the matching lotion as well. I'm wearing my everyday jewelry, my Pandora rose gold hoops, my new everyday necklace, my Pandora charm bracelet, and then these sandals, which are so cute. I thrifted these brand new. I think they're from Target though, but I just love this design and it matches perfectly with the romper. And then I have like this light cardigan and I love the gold hardware. <laughs> good afternoon everybody today is now wednesday the last time i vlogged was when chance and i went on our little date night since then not much has been happening i've been getting a lot of rest i've been relaxing i've been doing a little bit of tidying and nesting here and there Overall, I've just been chilling and it's been really nice and I need to be as least as least distressed as possible. So then that way baby girl has a good environment and whenever she's ready she can come because if I'm all stressed and I'm all attention, then she's not going to want to be born and it's going to be you know, we just we're, we're we've been chilling basically. So I'm going to pick this week of my life back up. I want to get as much content out for you guys before she comes. Super busy over on shorts. I'm 37 weeks now in two days. So I did film a tiny short when we went that morning. Um, everything's been looking good, been feeling good, keeping up with my stretches, my dates, my tea. 
all the things and yeah i'm at the point where i've just been chilling in my husband's clothes like all of his t-shirts so i look like i'm wearing pajamas all day every day and it just is the name of the game right now girl just is what it is none of my stuff fits me today though we have some very important things to do i have not yet packed my hospital bag which that's kind of stressing me out because i was on the hunt in person to find certain products so i was looking at like walmart y'all i was looking at like target and i was looking at like different locations because i don't want to have to order my stuff online you know and then i just kind of got lazy with it and was annoyed because i couldn't find anything in store but now i need to absolutely place my amazon order and get it together so today i'm gonna pack the baby's hospital stuff that she's gonna need and we're also going to get together our four-year-old's bag for when she's being watched as we're at the hospital. So that's my plan, and I have a few things that I want to do in the girls' room. Um, but yeah, everything's been going good. I don't think I have too much to update you guys on. This morning, I did start a new uh, little, like, devotional, which I'm excited about. I'll share it with you guys. It's on the Bible app. I just finished doing a very, very deep study in the New Testament of Acts, and it took me so so long and I love that like so much fresh revelation came from that like it was such a good study I'm the type of gal like I'll take an hour to do my time in the word reading one chapter which I know sounds crazy but I'm just getting so many fresh revelations dissecting just so much and it's been so awesome and like before I feel like I would kind of just like read you know you just read the word which is good you want to get your daily bread baby girl but this study method has to be my favorite and I've seriously learned so much and I've been able to meditate on the word so much more like I'll find myself thinking and pondering about the lessons and the things that I like dove deeper into and it's super awesome so I just finished that deep study and then I wanted to do something else kind of focused around birth and labor because that's the season that I'm in I found a nice little five day devotional it's shorter than i would like and it's not directly associated with birth it's more about surrendering in the valley um and like suffering which that goes hand in hand with childbirth so i'll try to share it i just started it today but it was super great i do want to read part of it and i'll put it on the screen here if you're interested this doesn't have to be if you're pregnant it can be whenever i just want to share this part let's see my plan okay this is called through the valley the five day bible plan with pamela johnson and I'm just going to read this. Billy Graham once said, Mountaintops are for views and inspiration, but fruit is grown in the valleys. In other words, if we bypass the valley of suffering, we bypass the fruit that God has provided for our growth. Fruits such as apples and oranges provide healthy nutrients our body utilizes to fight diseases. In the same manner, spiritual fruit can produce a godly attitude in our hearts that resists the temptation to sin. One such produce harvested in the valley is that we recognize our inability to, to control circumstances and our dependence on God. The nourishment of eating this fruit is to find him faithful. And I just love this. If I'm being real with you guys, I've been struggling this time around with fear, worry, around labor because i know what it's going to require of me i know what it's going to cost of my body and my mind the first time you give birth this was my experience it was like ignorance is bliss it was just like i don't know what to expect i've watched videos i've heard people's experiences but i i haven't gone through that pain so i don't know and you're in it and you get through it but this time because i know what to expect it just i've been battling with fear and i'm trying to leave that at the throne and and the lord was just speaking to me and ministering to me that when we as women and as mothers are in labor there's this breaking and this intimacy and this closeness with jesus because he too his body had to be broken to bring forth life and that's what we're doing and that was just so sweet of him to give me that and speak that to me because that definitely has helped me like this is an opportunity for me to be in such close intimacy with Jesus because my body is being broken and I'm suffering to a certain degree to bring forth life in which he's blessed me with. And there's such a beauty in that. So I love that it mentioned that. I can't control when I go into labor, which I've been stressed about. I can't control like the pain. I can't control it, but I can lean into God in this valley and i indeed am going to produce fruit because the child will come forth so i'm gonna link that devotional i thought it was sweet that was just day one so i don't know what the rest is going to include but essentially this is, day one is focusing on the fruit of dependence so anyways let's go ahead and get some things done so we were looking at getting a new bassinet it's 
by Chico. I think it's called the Lella Glide. They sell it at Walmart and at Amazon. But we're gonna have some big changes soon, so we just decided we're gonna use Novi's. I researched this one because I wasn't sure if it was Green Guard certified. I was able to look up the model and go through Delta. This is a Delta Children, and it indeed is. So we have washed it. So I'm gonna set up her little bassinet. And it wasn't too long ago that this was used, so I feel comfortable. I mean, her sister was born in 2019, so. Okay, Bastina is all set up. For now, I'm just keeping this blanket we got for her from the baby shower. And I wanted to show you guys what my grandma, so baby's great grandma, got for her. This is a Scentsy Stitch doll. It's kind of like the tradition that my grandma has kept with our first and now our second. Novella has the Thumper one, which had the scent 100 Acre Wood. And you guys know Novella just got a Bing Bong one with the Bing Bong Imagination Land scent. So then my grandma sent this one. So it's a little stitch and the scent is Newborn Nursery, which this smells so good. Obviously, I'm not putting it in here because you want to keep it fragrance free for baby. But I just want to show you because it was so sweet. So thanks, Grandma. So me and baby girl are going to share a bag. I'm going to do like a designated what's in my hospital bag video. So I don't want to bore you guys. But I did film a short for it, which I'll insert. I'm 37 weeks and here's everything we're bringing to the hospital for baby number two. First, two 100% cotton swaddles, one muslin swaddle, and our choice of wipes and diapers, both of which are by Honest. Sanitizer to keep everyone's hands clean and our choice of shampoo in case we want to give her a bath there. We're bringing our own hygiene items such as coconut oil, which will act as A&D for diaper changes and also a moisturizer for her skin, a bulb syringe, a brush, nail clippers, and a comb, all of which will be sterilized. Moving on to her outfits, we're bringing two double zippers, which will keep her nice and warm during this stay. Love these, they have the mittens and the footies. Also throwing in some extras like a hat, some mittens and socks. Don't know if we'll need them, but we'll have them. And then we have an outfit just in case she comes during the 4th of July, as well as her announcement photo outfit. The outfit is by Posh Peanut. We also got a Posh Peanut outfit for my mother-in-law for her first as well. So it's super sweet and that's everything we need to welcome baby M. And for now, because I have yet to pack my stuff, I just put all of her clean things ready to go in here. I do need to put more diapers because we'll need more than that, right? Or will we? I don't know. I can't remember. It's been four years. <laughs> but now I'm going to go on my daily walk. Okay, should I be concerned? <laughs> Back in from our little walk. My little snack, I'm just drinking some water too. And I'm gonna pack what stuff I do have together for my bag, my hospital bag, and put that together. Oh, and I wanna show you guys the baby bottles. We got really quick before my AC turns on because girl, it is so loud, one second. Okay, if you haven't checked out my pregnancy vlog that I just posted, we did a baby sprinkle haul and just how I'm preparing my mind and body for pregnancy, all the things. And I mentioned these, but they actually came in the mail. So this is what they look like. These are very pricey. They were $50 on Amazon for only three of them, but they're glass bottles and they're the Evenflow Balance Plus safe glass. So I will link these if you guys are interested. The point of this is for breastfeeding babies. Um, so you can breastfeed your baby, pump your milk, put it in here, and the baby won't get confused or have nursing adversions or anything like that because the way that this nipple is shaped, it requires the same suckling skill as it does on the breast, which is really cool. It says that it's anti-gas, it has a one-piece vent, a naturally sloped nipple for a healthy wide latch, and gulp-free feeding, and it's zero month plus. It is a slow flow. So I'm not going to start pumping till I like get home and everything, but I just wanted to show these because I'm so excited. I'll actually open them really quick. Super cool. Our first did not take any bottle, y'all. She just would not. So... Yeah, it'll be a journey. It'll be a task. I did have a bit of a um, freezer supply with her, though, because I used the Hakka, but I didn't pump until, like, I had no supply at all, and then I had to try to save it, and I was able to redeem it. But anywho, yeah, these are so cute, and they're supposed to be, like, shatterproof. So, I'm also just watching a vlog. This little Christian YouTuber, her name is Kendall. She's just so cute. I've seen her, like, stuff on, like, Facebook, and then I found her little vlog channel. So we just love to watch the other Christian content, you know? You know, she's so sweet. So let's go ahead and pack some stuff in. 
my hospital bag. I think I got these ones off of Shein. Let me show you. Aren't they so cute? I wanted black, but they didn't have black. And then they had like lavender, but honestly, I got like the rose gold pink because, you know, in case I leak, maybe it'll be disguised. But this is my other pajama set. I'm bringing it it's super soft. I've never had pajamas like this specific texture. It's like faux silk or something. Boop. Okay, it is now. It is now Friday. I'm taking my very much overdue maternity photos. Um, I'm in a rush because I low-key need to be ready in like 15 minutes. Um, uh, Chance just got off of work. No, it's not Friday, girl. It's Saturday. Chance had a little side gig and he just got off of work. Sir, honestly, I was like thinking we just weren't going to do it. We're going to try it in a few days. And then he was like, no, we're going. So that's why I'm rushing and I'm not ready. I just finished getting novella ready. You guys can see my options in the back. I'll show you in a second. I'm going to prime and then do, you know, a quick face of makeup. I've also been, like, filming a YouTube short today. I don't know what I'm going to do about my hair because I'm going to have, like, just enough time to do makeup, basically. Anyways, so while this dries, I want to show you guys my outfit options so we have the one i got earlier this week which i already showed you guys and i've already worn this and i didn't vlog this or tell you guys but i officially legally got my name changed i now have my married last name so it's so awesome and the day i went and did that i wore this sage green was one of our wedding colors so that's this color scheme here or i have this one which i bought way early in my pregnancy and i thrifted this and i thought it would be perfect for maternity photos and i love it it's all the way down but the only debate about this one is it very much shows my lumps and <laughs> i'm just not a big fan so maybe if we can get good lighting but this is the one i want to wear because this is what i intended to wear and then i'm going to change up my earrings i think it's beautiful and classy this one is cute too, so I'm going to have to bring both, but the plan is to wear this, and then maybe if I wear some, like, spandex, or, like, yeah, some spandex, it won't show everything, so those are my options, but I'm going to do a quick time lapse for YouTube shorts, so let's get ready. And really quick, my concealer setting. This is Novella's outfit. It's also by Ross, Burlington, or TJ Maxx, one of those brands. It's Derek Hart. There are the little pants, so you guys can see it has sage in there, and these are so cute. I love this outfit on her. And then she's just going to wear some sparkly gold flats, which were actually her wedding day shoes. <laughs> Okay guys, so it ended up raining while I was getting ready and we thought it would stop and it hasn't stopped but we were able to come to one of our favorite forest places. Actually the babe, the last time we were over here was for the wedding. That's crazy. And then our little honeymoon night. Um, but we did get some, so we're not sure how they turned out because it was still raining while we were over here, but we were able to be under some beautiful trees. We got some all together as a family and then Chance and I. So it was super sweet. So now we're gonna check out this little barbecue joint to see what they have. And then we may or may not take some the other day, but the most important, another day, but the most important part is we got some, right? I'm yes, so yeah. thankful that we got some because I was getting a little worried, but I love this dress. I love my makeup. You guys, I'm telling you that combination of the e.l.f. halo setting powder and that random cover girl hydrating foundation like are you kidding me it looked so good i know i looked a little crazy in the get ready because my concealer but this foundation's a little too light or a little too dark i'm so bad at matching my foundation colors and so i did I a it, lot I, of the I light think that's a good one yeah yeah especially for summer because once you tan up a little bit right too. yeah it does it does even out but since i'm still a little light um, I had to put a really light concealer under, so I know it looked crazy, but it evens itself out. So, anyways, I you love. Wanna, you want to give them a little shot of the... this forest, you guys? Firehouse Southern Style Barbecue, and then look, there's a honey shop right here. Local honey, like, and tea. Oh, honey tea and me, like. Oh, I would love to live out here in the forest. We did try to look for places to rent out here, oh, but they didn't have any. Bro, they're out of brisket. Happy 
Sunday, everybody. This is going to be the end of my week in my life. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with us. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content, and I will see you in another video soon. I do not know when baby M is getting here, but I'm literally going to be 38 weeks tomorrow, so stay tuned on my daily shorts. That's probably where, where I'll be posting the most. I do want to share a little bit of the missionary who came to visit our church today. His name is Muhammad Fardi. I'll link all his stuff below. He has a YouTube channel where they share testimonies for, about Muslims who converted to Christianity. He himself was born into the Muslim culture, and he has a radical awesome intense testimony about how he turned from a real life Saul to Paul it blessed me it convicted me it encouraged me and it was so amazing um, they also have a newsletter and their ministry is called Iranian Christians he literally handed out these free books to our congregation today with his testimony it's called forsaking my father's religion and I already read it it was so good and so powerful so I just want to share that my camera is about to die and I just want to try to give a quick testimony about his testimony that he shared because honestly it just wrecked me and it was super great but please be sure to check out his stuff in the description box especially if you're a Christian this testimony will bless you like I'm telling you it was so amazing so thankful that I got to hear it today Long story short, he was born into the Muslim religion, and it says that children who are born into the Muslim religion, before they're handed to their mother, they are dedicated to Islam by the reciting of this certain thing, and then they're handed to his mother, so that's his whole life. He talks about how he joined the Iranian Revolutionary Army, how he thought that in order to be worthy, he had to kill on behalf of Allah. He showed pictures of his testimony of him in his armor with his guns like all the things like it was so impactful and then he shared about when he was 22 years old he ran into an old friend from school and his friend was telling him how much christ has changed his life and that was the first time he heard the good news of jesus and from then on he became interested and it just was this beautiful domino effect on the rest of his life but in his book he goes into deep detail about the muslim religion the things that they are expected to do the things that he did the the rules and the rituals and something that really stuck out to me is he shared how they would do rituals and they would literally cut and beat themselves unto Allah to please him and he still has the scars today but he's converted he's a Christian he's a man of God and he goes around sharing the gospel sharing the good news and makes disciples and he's out here in these places to reach these Muslims and he knows exactly what that's like and it's just so beautiful so I was really touched but thank you guys for tuning into this video and I will see you soon Feeling good, feeling great Cause I got a big old smile upon my face And you can't take that away